and the little YouTube. This is JS Man. I'm smart. And I'm going to tell you a brand new video for tutorials with JS. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at Adobe Audition and how to remove the vocals from a song. If you ever wanted to remove the singing from a song and you only want to have the instrumentals and the melody remaining, this is how to do it in Adobe Audition. If you don't have Adobe Audition, I do have a tutorial on how to do this in Audacity, which is a free audio editing software. And you can go ahead and check that video out in the description as well as the card and annotation on screen right now. However, some of you did ask me to make a tutorial on a more powerful software like Audition, which does give you better results than Audacity does. However, before I start the tutorial, I do just want to say one thing. If you want to skip ahead to the tutorial, you can do so. But it is important for you to realize that some songs, this method does not work on. Some songs, the vocals are mastered into the actual instrumental so well that you cannot extract the vocals. So be aware that this method is probably the best way to do it. If Audition can't do it, not many other softwares are going to be able to do it. So some songs, this method may not work, and you're just going to have to YouTube or Google the actual song and type in instrumental after. Maybe there's an official release for the instrumental song. I just want to say that because some of you still seem to complain in the comments section saying this method doesn't work. Well, that's because it doesn't work for every song. If it works for your song, great. If it doesn't work for your song, then I'm sorry. It's going to be hard to take the vocals out. Not many programs will be able to do it. But let's go ahead and get started. I have a song called Apologize. Popular song, I'll play a short, quick snippet of it. So there's a the song. Uh, if you want to remove the vocals here, we're going to go ahead and highlight everything. Control A or double click the track. Head to the uh, effects rack right here and click the right arrow here and head down to stereo imagery. Now in stereo imagery, you want to select center channel extractor. Go ahead and select that, press OK on the pop-up, and you will have a second pop-up here that will allow you to select a preset. Now, I found the best presets to be sing-along, vocal remover, and karaoke. Uh, the best two out of these three are vocal remover and karaoke for most songs, so you want to try these three songs. Every song is different. If vocal remover is better than karaoke, then use that. But try these three sing-along, vocal remover, and karaoke for your song because you may get better results from one than the other. So uh, be also also be aware that usually I recommend you to, you know, select a preset and then you know change some of the settings here however with this one specifically i recommend you not to touch anything because a lot of these settings are very sensitive so just use a preset here and you'll be okay especially for vocal remover you want to keep this how it is otherwise it's going to sound really weird but let's go ahead and try it with uh the karaoke one first and let's see how that sounds As you can see, you can still hear the, the vocals slightly, so let's go ahead and try sing-along, perhaps. We can still hear it, so let's try vocal remover. As you can see, the vocal remover does the best job at it, and quite honestly, it usually does the best job in most songs. I have seen karaoke, though, work in a few songs better than vocal remover has. So try karaoke and vocal remover out, and whichever one gives you best results. After that, go ahead and exit this. And you want to make sure that you press apply at the bottom here. You see that your effect right now is red. Go ahead and press apply here, and now if we take a listen. As you can tell, the vocals are still slightly in there, but the idea is, is that if you're going to be singing on top of this instrumental track, your voice will basically overpower the slight, hearable, uh, original vocals. Uh, for some songs, you may be able to completely erase the vocals, and heck, if that's what's happening, then great, you have a completely clean instrumental. But for other songs, you won't be as fortunate, and you'll get something like this where you'll slightly hear it, and that's probably going to be the best that you can do. There's no other software that can do it better, and it's, it's just going to be unfortunate. You have to look for an official instrumental release, perhaps. And, or you can try Audacity. I don't think Audacity is going to do much better, though. So that's the tutorial. Hopefully it helped you out. Hopefully you learned something. I know it was kind of a short tutorial, but 
Uh, I, I do know some of you wanted to see the more powerful way of doing it other than Audacity. And well, here it is. This is the best you can get. And uh, if you liked the video, go ahead and leave it a like. If you're confused about something, if you have questions, leave comments in the comments section. I'll be down there answering any questions you have. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go and subscribe. Lots of other audition tutorials, Audacity tutorials, video editing tutorials, lots of software stuff on the channel. So go ahead and subscribe if you're interested in that. You can also donate $8 to my Patreon page if you want to donate. Anything as low as that is very helpful, very much appreciated. Click the card in the top right hand corner of the screen, and it'll bring you to the page. And I have a vlogging channel, gaming channel music channel and advice channel you want to check that out links in the description as well as on the end card and that's pretty much it thank you for watching as always and this is gsmail smart and i'll be back sooner than you think don't go anywhere mm -hmm.